Hey guys, what's up? It's the Castle Gengar. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Antibirth. Last time we left off, we defeated Mom in the Zazel run, I think. Um, this time, I was thinking that, you know, um, actually as a request of Lord Chuckleton III. Hold on, moving my mouse out of the screen. I, I, you guys probably can't see it anyway, but just in case, because I know there was a few incidents where I forgot it. Um, but... Uh, Lord Chocolate the Third actually was requesting a Bethany run. Now, I don't know how I feel about that because Bethany only has three hearts, one speed, and one attack. But I'm going to give her a shot because, for all I know, the Book of Virtues plus could be a really OP item. So let's hop into Bethany. So, hopefully, uh, let's see. What is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So it seems... I don't know if this goes away after every floor or if this is a continuous effect. But it seems that every time we use this item, we're going to get a little helper that shoots tears. Or what are, spectral ball things? I don't know, but I mean, if this is what we're going to look forward to, I'm okay with this. Um, I think that the tears of the little flame is actually stronger than, uh... What? I don't know why I could use it another bunch of times right there, but, I mean, hey. Um, the book might have been overcharged, I don't know. Uh, also, for all I know, the book can only be used a certain amount of times before it's made so useless, so I should probably not be so hasty to waste the stuff um but i do see underneath the keys there's something that looks like a soul heart i don't know what that means uh maybe we collect soul hearts and let you know i don't know why i broke that but dark bum you know if we're going off the theory of this thing running off soul hearts then that means uh we're probably gonna need him so, so far, nothing. So, let's move on to the next room. Uh, nope. It runs off charges. Oh, the dyers die out after time. Okay. Because if you can look on the screen, we have two small flames and one large. I don't know if that's because enemies touching them. But I'm going to take a wild guess and say that they do do not, in fact, last forever. Maybe after every few rooms. Let's use another one, and now we have two small flames and two big flames. Uh, Gemini should not be a problem. I see a lot that we actually end up getting stuck with uh, Gemini as a boss. Actually, I think it's the more tears we shoot. Yeah, the f more they... Oh, no. If they touch them multiple times. All right, so... We could have a lot of them built up at once, it's just that we need to keep it that, uh, in a way where enemies don't, like, you know, touch them. Though, good thing the fires do do damage, so you probably could also use that as an advantage to uh, a defensive playstyle. Which is probably what it was meant to be, because Bethany, again, is a weak character, fairly. So it means if we don't get a lot of uh, damage up items that we're on this run, we're probably going to have a rough time. As you can see, we're already having a rough time with just Gemini. And Gemini is literally not, literally one of the easiest things ever. Um, our tier speed has gone up. As you can see, there's a legit rock right here. Let's hit that up. Um, get more soul hearts. Yeah, she doesn't... Alright, so I'm confused on what, sh what the soul hearts do. Okay, for every two soul hearts, it will let us get a charge. Alright. So let's continue looking around the floor. Maybe we can uh, find something else. Or maybe a key, possibly, for the next uh, floor. That would be really good. So we're only able to collect permanent HP ups. That may be a hindrance. Especially since I just lost ha that half heart to stupid damage. Right. Lazy bum, do your thing. 
and hooked me up. Okay, um, I guess it counts half hearts, not full hearts. Because we were just what we were just at six, and it just went up to eight. Um, so let's head on to the next floor, and hopefully get us an item that can help us with our dilemma on damage. Because right now, only three point five damage is not good. All right, basement two. All right, cool. I can definitely see this um, ability getting really overpowered on like a mom floor. Though, I don't know how I feel about, you know, the whole consuming soul hearts. Because I'd rather just be using soul hearts, you know, to extend my health. Again, I'm kind of using this willy nilly, but at the same time, I just really want to get a hang or like kind of an idea of what the extent of this item is like maybe like the more you have the weaker they are and the less hits they take All right, so if they cr if they hit it directly I think the things go away but if they cry on them uh, it they just lose a charge This, two of hearts. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, with, definitely with my luck with damage, we're probably going to need that. Let's... A rate of fire isn't that good either, and the speed down is kind of annoying. So let's pick this up. And... Nope, wrong button. Alright, balls of steel. So not even a pill can give us extra hearts. So right now we have five charges on our book. So I think we can do pretty well. It's just I really would love a damage up item on this floor. I mean, so far the hearts look like they pick up the slack. Or not the hearts. The fire takes up on their slack of damage. But we're not always going to have soul hearts to keep this ability going. So I mean, we might. If I get good, but that means I have to get good. Two on touch. That's definitely not a thing we wanted. I think at some point I would switch to the Xbox uh, three six or Xbox One gamepad because I noticed that when I play with the PS four one, like I don't like I don't know like I can play with the controls like perfectly like this doesn't tire my thumbs out or anything when I'm playing on the console itself. But I find out I find when I play Isaac that my thumbs really get tired out easily when using this. So I'm looking for legit rocks. Dark bum just ate our fucking heart. And it's kind of his job, so I can't really blame him. Now we're down to four, three, two, all right, nice. Now I'm still no sign of a legit heart. I also noticed the game is getting a little slow. Not sure why. Let's use some of these. All right, Larry Jr. Um, the game's doing the thing again where I'm pressing in one direction, but my tears are going complete opposite direction. I don't know what causes that, to be honest. Um, so it seems like we have a 75% chance of getting a... Well, it seems overall like we might have a 100% chance of just getting an extra room at the end of this floor, but it seems like it's going to be a... Okay, I was going to say, the 100% is definitely good but right now the, there was a 25% chance of a double room and a 10% chance or 75 of a uh, angel room so I was actually hoping to get one of those the void is always always welcomed but right now we only have 
to three hearts and I don't I don't know um I want to say yes but I don't know if I could live with only one heart um hold on how long is this run uh 10 minutes uh you know what Sorry. Um, the run we have right now is going on for 10 minutes. Um, I'm really not digging Bethany so far. But, oh. Oh. I'm going to do it. Uh, we really kind of... I, I feel like we really need this to uh, help our advantage. But at the same time, if we fuck this up, we're going to lose. Uh, I'm not really... I'm not really going to be too upset if we lose the Bethany run. But at the same time, I won't be thrilled when we lose. Also, I would like to know the difference of the regular soul hearts and the black hearts on what kind of projectiles they shoot. Because it seems so far like... Uh, Seems so far that uh, maybe the projectiles are different somehow. Ah, oh, thanks for the friendly splooter. I don't know if like the black tears cause slowness or anything or what. Um, I think what's tiring my thumb out on Bethany so much is that she moves so slow, and I'm used to everyone having such kind of like a fast speed that. I, I, I'm pressing these buttons down a lot longer than I'm used to. Alright, so they give us fear. Well, let's get... Damn it. No. Well. Fuck. Um, it wasn't a long run, and I feel like I owe you something else since it's only been 10 minutes. So let's not do a Bethany run, and we'll do an Eden run. Uh, We'll, we'll do t two runs for the price of one today. So we are starting off with a kamikaze, but we only have one heart. Um, and a wolf. mega bombs. I know Hierophant gives us two hearts. Uh, we're also starting off with a low amount of damage. Good, quick, uh, decent uh, fire rate. Though the one heart, I don't know how well this is going to work out for us. Uh, but we do have the bombs. Which, I mean, alright. So I've never actually completed a run as Eden, so I'm kind of excited to see how this ends up. Um, Eden is definitely never like a first choice character for me. I, I'm just not, I just don't like the, I, I don't like the randomness that comes with it. Uh, so let's pick this up. Oh. Cricket's head, damage up, alright I can live with this. Um, we might actually be an Eden run, if anything. Just, it's just how long this Eden run is going to take in the end. That's really kind of draws me to the worried, 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 worried side. Sorry if I keep stuttering over my own words. I I said I was going to record Isaac after the last time I recorded Pokedraw or Pokedraw dot, draw, Pokedraw dot net or whatever, but instead. Oh my god, 2020? Oh my god, if we lose this run, I'm gonna cry. But instead, I kind of fell asleep. <laughs> um, so I didn't get to it that day. In fact, I did the exact opposite, and I, I passed out and completely forgot what I was supposed to do. And by the time I realized, it was already like 4 in the morning. So that's why I'm doing it today. Though it makes me nervous because that means I have around half the time I'm used to to edit these videos which means I actually have to probably edit one of these as soon as it comes out upload it and then um, please be health up pheromones but yeah but probably after I record this episode or the both the episodes I'm gonna have to start editing this one immediately 
and process it and upload it as fast as I can, and then the next one will have to go, or then I'll do the next one whenever I get to it, but again, but before the time limit, basically. Yeah, so I can definitely see an appeal to, uh, I get, again, he's not a character I would choose a lot, because I'm not a fan of the whole randomness. So I keep looking around for like legit rocks. So I ignore my surroundings, which will probably end up getting me killed. Okay, so damage reduction on top. That's three items for one, right? We got a cricket's head from a golden chest. We got the mask of infinity from a golden chest on the first floor, both on the first floor. And now we have 2020 vision. So we also have a lot of damage. Well, not a lot. Yeah, we have a decent amount of damage, but a lot for how early we are in the game. And why is every first boss Gemini? Like, I'm, these aren't seeds. Like, we, for some reason, we just always been getting Gemini. Fuck. That was stupid damage, because again, I'm not focusing. All right, nice. And we got the evil range and shot speed up. Um, I mean, the shot speed up is not necessary whatsoever, but I will gladly take it. Also, I don't know if I said this earlier. I think I might have said it, but if you hear me sipping anything, that's because I have a nice hot chocolate uh, with white raspberry in it. and uh, White chocolate raspberry in it. and Oh, my God, it's just so hard to resist. I don't want it to get cold either. It doesn't taste as good cold. So we have enough for the, oh, and then there's a hidden chest, or hidden rock. Nice, finally. Uh, we're going to find the item room first. That's what's been giving us the best luck so far. Hopefully we can get some health up, because honestly, I think health up would be the best option for the next couple of floors. So I'm probably going to skip any kind of devil deals. Uh, that are available. Mainly because again we need the we need this we need the hearts. Cool, let's go up here. And box of spiders. I think every fr yeah, every two rooms we're gonna get friendly things in this kamikaze I think takes a heart of damage, but because of, uh, we can use like use a bomb for we heard ourselves to be used as a bomb. Uh, I mean, kamikaze literally so it explains it all. So I'm not going to use that. Um, I keep being off by like a little bit. My hand-eye coordination is not the best at the moment. I should probably get on a normal sleeping schedule, especially on days when I try recording. Let's go for a secret room. Nope, no secret room. So let's go up and we'll hit this guy. Our box of spiders has taken care of the glob of meat. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, let's blow up this legit rock. And it's another golden chest. Okay. Um. Yes, you know, yeah, let's go. Glows of power. Okay, but now we need a key for the next floor. Fuck. Um, oh, never mind, we got the key. Um, there's another chance of a room right here. And we got it. Greed? Nope. Oh my god, but... The sun... I'm gonna open this again. We got some money. Uh, but now that makes us short for a key again, so I should really stop opening this chest impulsively because we got some good shit on the first room. Or first floor. But I mean, we got some pretty good shit on the first floor, though. Like, I'm pr we are pretty OP right now. 
I, I'm not sure if this is like mom levels of OP, but I'm pretty confident about a mom fight. Um, so let's use another box of spiders. Uh, let's go down. I'm still not 100% sure what the sun does. Also, Envy. Great. 10 out of 10. Uh, best boss fight ever. Luckily, Cricket's Tears would make this a lot easier. Along with the 2020 vision, so. Key. Troll Bomb. Cool. So I think on the next floor I'll wait to use the sun. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just full health, but at the same time it could be wrong. What if it does come to us having only half a heart left at some point? I will use it. Which hopefully it doesn't come to that. And we got a HP up. Nice. Uh, I know he's we're going to skip over him. I just want to look. Three chests. I mean, again, it doesn't hurt to look. So, for all we know, it could be good shit. Troll bombs. Troll bombs. I think it's three troll bombs. Nope. Bunch of friendly spooters, though. I'll take the friendly spooters. I'll even add my own friendly spooters. And let's go to the next floor. I don't know. I'm skipping the animations now. I don't know if the little boss and like mid screen anim or mid floor animations are something you guys really look forward to. Also, left hand is a random chance of every room dropping a red chest. I don't know what what we have does. Um, a missing page that glows with power. I think I want to stick with. The, uh, you know what? I know what the left hand does, but I don't know what the missing page does. And for all I know, it, actually, let's see. If I pick this up, do I lose any? Nope. Alright. So it doesn't give us a stat boost. So we're just going to keep rolling with this to see if it changes anything. Like make maybe run wise. And we get a soul heart. We're going to have to end up saving that till the boss. Uh, we just need to remember that it's actually there. Uh, I think there's a run before that I accidentally forgot that a room existed. Well, not a room, a soul heart existed on the floor. And fuck. Uh, key. Pill. Pill. Range down. Fuck. I mean, our... Uh, I mean... Let's see. Our range still goes pretty fucking far, though. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, again, let's avoid that for now. I think that's literally just the range down pill we just got. It is. What a fucking slap in the face. Right. So by the end of this floor, we will probably have... We will most likely have three hearts. Which I am happy with. Also, let's use another box of spiders. Let's get these guys out of the way. Did we find the item room for this floor? We did not. Let's go ahead and go do that. I almost skipped an item room, and you guys would have been very mad with me. So I was actually thinking about, uh, like, no one gave me their opinion if they would like to see Enter the Gungeon played. So I was actually thinking about maybe replacing one of this week's episodes with an Enter the Gungeon episode, just to see how people liked it. But again, I don't want to change up the formula or deprive you of a Isaac episode for something you potentially would not like. Oh my god. True. Oh my god. Yes. Now I am very confident in this Eden run. Let's, let's see if we can get to this. Uh, we don't have a key. We do not have a key. But we do have another box of spiders. Uh, so, I guess we're going to go beat the boss now that we got the lard. Um, it's definitely nice to have the like actual hearts now. It's definitely more... It, it makes me feel a lot more confident, you know? That we're not going to end up losing like four soul hearts or something and screwing up the whole run. 
Because I would do that. And I feel like one of our previous ones I have done that. And right now we're facing Cartman. So let's, let's get rid of Cartman. this all right what do we get ooh shot speed and damage up oh my god all oh, this early in the run we already got that sweet damage all right I am not complaining uh, let's grab this now we're gonna have five hearts on the next floor Dude, I think this page is lucky and then someone in the comments is going to be like, oh, actually, that page is uh, decreased luck permanently. Uh, if you pick it up, it actually destroys your whole run. I wouldn't doubt it with my luck. Also, how'd you guys enjoy Poke the Pokemon draw thing? Like, I haven't gotten any kind of reactions to it, except for I think one person shared it. Which, I mean, that is already one more video I've that's ever gotten shared for my channel than ever which is kind of sad but I think the only person that's ever shared my videos is me but I mean I need to advertise myself so if I don't I hate I hate I hate it I, I've, just, I've said many times that I hate having to advertise myself by constantly like spamming my like videos on people I, I know it's a thing that every youtuber has to do but I don't I just don't like having to try to shamelessly promote myself at every corner, you know? Like, cool, I did a video. I had to share it on Twitter. Well, actually, I have it automatically to do that, but I mean, like, I'd, I'd rather not. Like, I'd rather just have people discover my channel just by, you know, whatever, and just getting lucky. People just like, yeah, like, this dude's really cool, but that's not going to happen. So, I will shamelessly promote myself quote-unquote shamelessly as I described that I'm filled with shame every time I do so oh yeah we're looking for a key I need to get that item room I'm not skipping an item room unless it's crap if it's crap then I'll, of course I'll skip it ooh black heart nice Still no key, and we only have one room to explore. Two rooms to explore. And here we go. Um, light heal and light me. Alright, so I was right, the sun. I keep forgetting I could like hold down select and it will tell me like what items do. So I, I it's definitely gonna be a healing item, I think. Awesome, please have another key. Nope, but a lot of money. Alright, cool. If we get money as power, I think we can get a decent we can get a decent add additional damage. Um, you know what, we, we're gonna go for it, so let's just explore the whole floor. Um, I don't think I've bombed for a secret room yet, so let's just try it. And we got it. And it's money. I don't need money. I mean I need money, like real life money, but I don't need I don't need Isaac money. Though I do kind of own the donation bank for uh, for brutally ravishing its body. All right, so near now we have bombs that shoot out tears. So I, I mean, as long I'm just, I'll be happy as long as they don't like backfire and hit us or something like. That. If they can't do that, then I'll be happy with them. No, I really would have preferred. Uh, another passive item though we do have enough passive items as it is so I'm not 100% complaining 95% I'm 80% I'm, I'm complaining right, so this guy should be a piece of cake yes and the book of that's trash that is literal trash I mean it could eventually be a key Uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep box of spiders. 
And we're already almost to mom. Uh, one second. Uh. Oh, that, that hot chocolate's good. Oh my god. If anyone's what like, just it's just questioning why I keep saying it's so good. This makes some regular hot chocolate. And instead of like using milk or something to cool it down, just use white chocolate raspberry creamer. Like, oh my god. So good. Right, well, so far this run's being really stingy with uh, keys. Wow, gluttony. More like pushover. And our spider buddy sacrificed his life. Let's have a moment of silence for him. And I'm over it. I want to try using the control stick for this, but, like, I have um, things on my control stick. They're uh, grips because my left control stick's broken and I need to have a grip on it or else it's just going to fall apart. And... It Make it, it raises the height that your thumb usually has to go to use the thumbstick, which kind of tires it out even more. So I'm kind of trying to switch between the thumb pad and the uh, thumbstick. What the hell? Oh, okay. 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 I mean, I guess that's fine. Guess that's a new enemy that I have not heard of, so. Now is the other dude without the brain still up there, or? Pheromones, I still don't think, it, I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything except make us stand still for a few seconds. And we can use more spooters, let's do that. And brimstone, buddy, or enemy, whatever. Key! Alright, we're good for this floor. And we just found the item room. Now, I just need to remember to press R1 if I ever get into too much trouble in this room. Because though I might be eaten, I'm still shit. So... That was that was my fault. I did that. You're gonna drop a heart, right? Yeah. So let's pick that up. And yeah, th this should be the last guy, right? Nope. There's one more. There he is. And the floor dropped a heart. Let's go into the item room, and we got a juicy sack, sticky babies. I'm um, pretty sure it's either every room we get spider babies, or now it's every kill we get, we get spider babies. Also, why the fuck pay for it when we just do this? I'm sure we don't get hit with a fly or something. I kind of wish we had the dark bum. Come on, give us something good. Another HP up, maybe? Oh, I'm sorry. Could you give us a key? More keys would be great. Much appreciated. Or maybe bombs are keys? Or pheromones. Alright, a fly buddy, that's not too bad. Right, let's, let's try this out. And it is full health, so we literally just dropped a full health to pick up a full health to use a full health. Come on, just give me a freaking key! 
Listen, you stingy ass. I mean, close enough. And now our rate of fire is definitely insane. Um, let's go explore some rooms that we missed. Maybe even try to find the hidden room, which should be... Trying to make sure that right, it's over one. If there is one. Alright, no hidden room there. Maybe there's one here. Now let's try that again. Yeah. I was actually expecting greed, but uh, whatever. The one time we are getting greedy is the time we don't get greed. Like the hell? That's it. Uh, make a shortcut because I, I kind of just want to get this run over with because my thumb is killing me and I need to take a break. Which sucks because I love playing this now. Like, not the fact that we're like really OP, but the fact that like I'm actually having fun right now. And I don't want to go to bed. Because if I take the break, I will probably end up going to bed. That's the first time I've seen just a flat out empty room, I think. Like ever in Isaac. And actually no. I like I well I mean there wasn't even items there wasn't even like decor on the floor, I think. Like this was just a flat out empty room, right? Yeah. A flat out empty basic room. Like at least there's at least like decor or something on the floor, like fire or some shit. But I think that's the first time I've ever just come across a straight up like Fuck Just a straight up like blank room. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. How'd you know my weakness? Which is my stupidity, because I keep dropping bombs and almost killing myself. It's like, this run is going so good with the freaking, like, the golden chest. I just can't help but to pick them up. It's like a calling, man. Um, this was not the boss. This was a... I mean, it was a boss, it's just not the one we're looking for. Um, there's n actually there is a challenge room. Can we go in there? We can. It's good though. Fuck, it was not. I need a key. Like, oh, these guys really. What's what's up with this four and these guys? Hey, we got the key we were looking for. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go down. Oh, we did not make a pathway over. Fuck. I'm not wasting another bomb. But I will use another spider charge. So let's get up to... I don't know who this boss is, actually. Loki, I don't think we faced you yet. You little, little, little scallywag. And we have unlocked a new floor. Tears up. Okay, and two more soul hearts will do. I was going to say, if it gives us the void, then we're definitely going up a brimstone. Oh, my God. Okay, um, now here's the thing. I didn't mean to pick that up. I meant to just open the chest and just leave, but I guess now we're rocking brimstone. Which has an extremely fast charge rate. I mean, I guess I was kind of happy with the 2020 tiers, though. Oh, look, we unlocked the necropolis. 
Yeah, with the, I mean, with the fast charge rate, I, I can't really complain about having brimstone. Also, greed heads, those are never fun. So, the mixture of the spiders we're getting and the, uh... I mean, overall, we're doing pretty well. Like, not gonna lie. Though, is it enough to beat Mom's heart? That's the good question, because it... So far, we've only beaten Mom's heart twice. And one of them was an Azazel run. Which is easy mode, for those who don't know. And I'm not the best at telegraphing mom's heart's, like, attacks. Callus, we could walk on... The callus lets us walk on spikes, uh, but uh, you don't have a flying item, so I can't pick it up. But we can't open this. And get... Two hearts. Okay. Um, how about we'll just stick to the sun? Um, shop, okay. We'll just donate the cash we have. Or not. Fucking really? Well, fine. We'll do this. If we get enough money, we'll go get the PhD. Story of my life. Empty room. Let's keep going. The arcade, though, that could be good. So, right off the bat, we're just gonna bomb these guys. That's not too bad. <laughs> Shit. Keep pressing R1 instead of L1. Surprised it didn't actually go off sooner. And we got that key, and we got the sweet cash for Bum here. How much does Bum love us? Bum loves us enough to get a key. Alright. And what's this? Temperance. I don't know what Temperance does. Blood Bank. But we got HP up. So anyway, we may already... I think this is... He already gave us back one heart. Yeah, we were... We had five hearts when we got Brimstone, so... Oh, boy. Come on, not at least... You're not going to at least give us one. Wow. You are greedy. Also, there is a hidden room that it's showing us, I think, for using the sun. So let's... Fucking really? Only time I'm going to ask. Bombs? He was fast as fuck, boy. Well, actually, we're going to pick that up now. And if you're wondering why we're picking it up now, it's because I feel like... I, I didn't keep track, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the mom floor. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but I, just in case, you can't... Once you, be, once you get past... Once you get to the mom floor and you go into the boss room, you can't leave. Okay, a bomb, thank god. But we just used a bomb to get it, so... Also, I think this is like... 
take damage, get soul hearts. Which I'm not opposed to. But now we need to make our way all the way over to the mom room. Or not the, bo the boss room. Again, not even sure if it's mom. And then it's just straight down. Alright, cool. Let's use spiders, why not? So we can at least get the charge for beating the boss. Still can't do calluses. And who are you? You are indeed mom. So it's a good thing we picked up that, uh, that white heart while we had the chance. Also, I don't know why that dropped there, but I will gladly take it. I mean, if we actually had, like, a fucking... I think if we actually beat Mom at this point, on this character, we would have actually had a boss rush. So, two more, one, two more rooms to Mom's heart. And I am feeling relatively positive about this run, not gonna lie. Let's see if we can get these guys lined up, or the spider can kill them. And here is that sweet music I can never get enough of. I'm not sure if this is part of the original game or the mod pack, but I love it. Hashtag Paper Mario. And for those of you who might just be tuning in just now watching uh, a video of mine for the first time, the reason I say Hashtag Paper Mario when I come here is because this music reminds me of a level in Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. So I really just, it's the first thing that pops into my head every time I come in here. And I love it. Okay, one more. Here we go. Nope. Uh, actually, not, not, not gonna actually do this, but I mean, let's just get that. Let's see if we can get some stuff at least. Gucci. Alright, cool. I mean, not cool, not cool. There's no item... There's Yeah, there's no item rooms on this floor, so I'm not afraid to just... Oh, shit. I'm not afraid to just, like... Not just skip once I find the room. Huh. What'd that do? I think it's just like a permanent death card, right? Did take a lot of damage there. And I think this all stats up. Well, majority stats up. I... In shot speed, I think. And now it's time for the real battle. Can we indeed take on Mom? Like, if we were on any other floor, like, if we were on any other section of the game, I th the key could actually come in handy, but this is the only set of floors that I know of that don't have item rooms. And bombs, alright, cool. Let's head into the arcade. Uh, we're just gonna use the regular slot machine. And 
one more. Alright, cool. I'm not gonna... I mean, actually, yeah. There's... There could possibly be a room right here. And I was right. I mean... I'm not... I'm not, I'm not mad. So I guess we're gonna be playing the slot machine, and I guess choose a random thing. Pheromones, pheromones. Walk up, all right. Pheromones. Two penny. I'll take the two penny. I'm not gonna bother using the blood bank for five times. I'm just gonna again try finding mom as soon as possible. Cause we can beat an Eden run. That will already be at least a good that that'd be a run that I've never actually bothered completing in personal saves. Because I don't like playing as Eden, like I've said, like I've said before. So we took some damage from the the blast there. So let's just let's just make sure we don't have to take a significant amount of damage from that. those things so much they're not hard to fight it's just they're annoying as hell like dingles come on come on what the hell just hit the poop Sorry, I was standing too close to the shit to fucking blast it with the laser. Let's just get this out of the way. I already feel like that was a waste of spooters. But we get them back pretty quickly, so I'm not too upset. Charge ready. I'm expecting a mom room any second now. There she is. Hearts. And now it's time for the mom's heart. Now, I believe the game's actually experiencing a little bit of slowdown all of a sudden. Um, it doesn't actually seem to be noticeable right now, but it was happening in that last room, which makes me kind of nervous. These fights are always so intense, but we've gotten so much damage and power throughout this whole run. It's just nothing. And now we have beaten the Eden run. I mean, that puts us on a three win streak right there. Or two win, no, one win streak technically, because we lost the last run. Ah, whatever. Why 
would you do that? So that was the Eden slash Bethany run. Um, this video was a little longer than I think we would have wanted, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And next time, we are going to be going back to a good old Kane run, or maybe an Isaac run. I don't know. For all we know, we could be going back to an Azazel run. I feel really good doing an Azazel run. Um... So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Comment down below what you're excited to. I don't know. Maybe give me hints on how to actually activate stuff in Anti-Birth. Like, do I need to beat the game with, like, all these characters? Like, do I need to beat Hush on all of these characters or something? Like, let me know. I still don't know how to activate the Anti- I don't know how to fully activate the Anti-Birth DLC. But we're going to figure out at some point in the future once we get around to it. But hope thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you all have a great and wonderful day, and until next time, bye bye